Hey, what's up? Hello. You're watching my favorite anti-white supremacy YouTube channel. I'm reading Amazing Spider-Man 848. By the way, did you guys see the latest video of that sheriff in Kanono, Wisconsin? The guy was talking mad crazy. Go watch the video Sean King posted on his Instagram page. I just watched that before I came here. This is part three of the story, Sins Rising. Um, in these in these long, like, five-parters, six-parters in Marvel, I noticed that the middle is really stretched. They could make this, like, a fast pace if we would have got the last comic book and this comic book and maybe even the next comic book all squished into one where we, we would have just had this straight-up scene where dude pulls a gun on Nora Winters and immediately get to there. Like, we, we didn't need the in-between stuff. Anyways, it does begin with some text boxes over there, and the next time we see talking, it's him saying, but I found salvation in the first... I like the fact that he started his sentence with but, meaning that he's just continuing on with these, so I know that all of these words over there on that side of the page are him talking, and uh, that was a good job by Nick Spencer or the editor or whoever's idea that was to convey that message. Shout out to you. He's, he needs Nora to convey a message, and he goes on the internet, and he makes some noise. One of the people reading is, is, is that guy there. That His name is Abdullah. Um, he doesn't eat marshmallows because gelatin isn't halal. And, and he was like taking it in, in the subway where you're not supposed to get service. But some way, some, how he's, he and everyone else it seems to get good service. I don't know, is New York subways that way? I don't know. New York though, it's diverse. I like that they have different colored people because <laughs> this, this, I called myself an anti-white supremacy channel. This is an anti-white supremacy comic book. Good job, Marvel. Love that. Love to see different races of people in comic books to highlight colors and normalize non-white people it, it does wonders so that's a great thing because white supremacy is real we go on to the next part of the comic let's just skip to the end there's a part where sin eater was it, is this even sin eater but he got his his crew and he's gonna say the words the one who called me he has a plan for you i'm assuming he's talking about kindred right Kindred gets referred to as a he. Is it Uncle Ben? Is it Gwen Stacy? Like, that's the thing. I, my first ever guest that I ever came on here was like, yo, it's Uncle Ben. The next week, because someone wrote a comment saying it could be Gwen Stacy, I'm like, yep, that's why Ghost Spider's back. That's why um, MJ and, and Peter are back together with no trauma. It's because Gwen Stacy's going to be the one to drive the wedge. That's why... Um, there was more reasons. I just can't remember what my reasons were for why it's Gwen Stacy. Oh, yeah. Just the fact that it's Kindred. Someone who covers himself. You know, the cliche identity of, oh, it's a girl under there? Because only girls can have long hair. Or, or you know, the fact that he, his chest, Kindred's chest is not, that called him a him. I guess I believe it. Kindred's chest is not visible. It's like, it's a big puffy thing. So it can be a girl the whole time. I, I just know someone from the past. It's Nick Spencer. This guy who made Captain America a heel. He's not afraid to bring back Uncle Ben or Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy, whatever, we'll see. I, what I don't like, though, is, this, is the undoing of old stories, which it seems like is what happened here with Norman Osborn. Norman Osborn's back and better than ever. Oh, Green Goblin, I should be saying. Thing is, like, Dan Slott worked really hard. And if you... Do the opposite of what the prior writer did. Then what makes me think even your story is going to stick? Whatever you do with Norman Osborn. Maybe Donny Cates gets Spider-Man three years from now. And he's like, no, you know what I'm going to do? Kindred is actually Uncle May. <laughs> and he just undoes that, right? Like, assuming Kindred's Uncle Ben. You can't... I don't want you as a writer, if Nick Spencer, if you're watching, what's up? I don't want you to undo someone else's story. And if that's the direction he's going, thumbs down. I don't like that Christos Gage took Superior Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus, and kind of undid the whole Superior stuff. Like, what Dan Slide did was cool. Don't undo it. Use Mr. Positive. Mr. Negative, I mean. Use something that Dan Slide created. Build on it. Don't undo. Because when you undo, I don't want to read any more comics. Part four comes next week. It'll be uh, 849. I'm chill. Thank you for watching. Bye.